Hey guys, Fonzie with DipYourCar.com and we have a very exciting video for you guys today. A little over a month ago, some people showed me a couple videos on YouTube where some guys took automotive 2K clear coat in an aerosol can and they applied it on top of Plasti Dip wheels in order to get a high gloss, scratch free finish. Genius idea, can't believe I haven't thought of this before. We're gonna show you guys how to do it today. Hopefully we get a good end result. Let's jump right in. All right guys, so here's how we approach the video. We got the exact same 2K clear aerosol can that they were using in those videos, same one. And what they were doing in the different videos was anywhere between six coats of Plasti Dip to eight coats of Plasti Dip. So we went with seven. We applied seven coats of black Plasti Dip onto a wheel just like we normally would. Then we gave it about an hour and a half or two hours to dry and we put two coats of this automotive 2K clear on top just like they did in that video. Then what we did is we put it on the roof for a month and we just took it down. The reason we did that is the only thing they don't show you in these videos is how the product peels when it's time to remove it down the road. Now I'm sure they did the research, I'm sure it's gonna be just fine, but just in case, I wanna show you how good this stuff works when it's time to remove it off the wheel. So again, it spent about a month on our roof, in the sun, in the conditions. We've got it right over here and we're gonna start peeling it for you guys. Let's see how it goes. Just gotta get it started here. It's chipping off in small pieces, but I'm sure that's just because we got to get it started. I don't think that the 2K on top of the Plasti Dip would make it that difficult to peel. A little bit more. We'll get it going here in a second. Oh, thought I had it. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There's a big piece right there. Hold on. Be patient. Hold on. There we go. Okay, hold on. This is only temporary. This will be just fine. Hmm. It's almost like the gloss doesn't stick to the Plasti Dip at all. It's really hurting the Plasti Dip's ability to stretch be removed, but I'm sure after just working at it a little bit, it'll come off just fine. We're making progress. go. Here we go. Hmm. This may not be working out as I originally planned. Not really sure why the 2K gloss is not allowing the Plasti Dip to peel as it normally would. It's a bit of a mystery. The 2K gloss is just making it behave like very thin, very brittle dip. I'm gonna take a break. So the removal portion did not exactly go as I planned. I mean, who would have thought that putting 2K automotive clear coat, something that's designed to get rock hard and brittle, on top of something like Plasti Dip, which needs to stay soft and stretchy, 
wouldn't have been a good idea. It's crazy. To be honest with you guys, we've been doing this for over eight years now. If putting 2K automotive clear coat on top of PlastiDip was a good idea, if it was safe and reliable, don't you think Dip Your Car would have been selling 2K automotive clear coat to put on top of PlastiDip for a very long time now? This is not a new idea. We tested this a very long time ago. We tested dozens and dozens of variations of this. And if we ever would have hit something that was safe, and that worked, we'd be offering it to you guys. Right now we have Glossifier. In the future we're gonna have the Performance Series aerosols which are glossy right out of the can, and those are great. Now, do either of those match the gloss level and scratch resistance level of a 2K automotive clear coat? No, but we're not gonna sell you something or even suggest to you something that we know isn't gonna work well for you down the road. Selling you something that looks good, but it won't peel off down the road and can maybe even damage your wheels it's never something we're gonna do. That's a quick dollar move, not a long-term move. And this, this wheel only sat on our roof for about a month. It was not on car, a car for six months or 12 months. It was not baked on by the heat of your brakes day in, day out for a year. What you saw today would only get worse in a long-term real-world application. So if you're thinking about putting 2K clear coat on your wheels over your Plasti Dip, I would definitely strongly suggest to, to second guess that. And even if you were thinking about doing it as a permanent application, because as you probably saw, the gloss does not adhere to the Plasti Dip at all. Meaning if you take it to a car wash or it gets hit by a pressure washer or even some rocks or debris on the road, the gloss is just gonna start flaking off. So it's up to you guys. I can't tell you what to do, but keep this in mind. If you hear something that seems too good to be true, specifically about Plasti Dip, if Dip Your Car is not already doing it, there's a reason for it. If you have any questions at all, you can reach out to us, uh, customer service at dipyourcar.com. You can chat with us on the website. I'm sorry if I just kind of bummed a couple of you guys out, but I just don't want to see a bunch of people out there putting 2K clear gloss over their plastic up wheels and then not being able to peel it. It's not good for them. It's not good for anybody. You can always find me on Instagram if you have any questions you want to get out, get out to me directly. It's Fonzie. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope I saved some of you guys from destroying your wheels. I will see you on the next video.